Welcome back to another video. As you can probably tell by the title, I have bought another car. I have bought another Lexus LS400. The green one, previous video is my last one. That's sold, gone to a new owner. I used it for my wedding. It was sick. Um, I took a couple of pictures in now. But yeah, that's um, gone, that's sold. So is my 460, for anyone that knows about my 460 that I had. Um, so yeah, the Lexus, technically a barn find. It's been sat since 2015. It hasn't been on the road. Um, so of course it needs some work, but yeah, let's go and have a look. You can probably see a glimpse of it in the background there. And you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. So let's get cracking. Here she is in all her glory, so straight up. Well, the camera doesn't even do it much justice, but she's green. She's covered in grass and stuff. Um, yeah, look at the roof. Obviously, being a white car makes it even worse. So, yeah, this is what we are starting with. <clears throat> it does run and drive. Um, battery is dead, but hook a jump pack up, fires straight up. Um, runs a little bit rough, but it's got a lot better since I've transported it and got it here and, and so on. So... I don't know if I'm going to keep this car or if I'm going to sell it. So, by making this video, not only is it on my YouTube and I can see it and watch it forever, but the new potential buyer, if I do come to selling it, is going to see how it started, exactly what I've done over the time I've had it. So I do plan on doing water pump, cam belt, major service, obviously going to clean everything out, maybe even change the wheels, but yeah, so there she is. The bigger wheels, 19s, I believe they might be something called Alexis Milanos. I know they've got Lexus stickers and other badges on them, but they are genuine free piece from what I can see. Um, the rear arches, I think, have been rolled or flared. Although it's not creased and they don't look like they've been repainted because there is paint chipping off. They do look like they've been rolled or flared. So it is lowered. From what I can see, it's only on springs, not actual coilovers. So do I put brand new coilovers on? Do I get second hand ones? Am I keeping it? Am I selling it? Um, some big old bazooka pipes out the back. <coughs> the, the hangers are fine. It's the rubber, uh, rubber bushes that have perished and they've dropped down. So they do, I believe they do go back up. Yep, they go back up. They go back up. We got clear rear tails. They're quite rare. You don't see them often. Retro Junction Produce badge. Um, inside. Let's have a look inside. We've got all black interior. Seats need a bit of love. Black headliner. You can see it's been sat since 2015. It's a... Uh, not the cleanest of cars. So, step one will probably be clean this inside out before we do anything mechanical or modification wise. But yeah, here's another video, let's crack on. Right then, so here we are, I've started with the interior, I've taken the seats out, I've emptied all the door pockets and all the crap and the glove box, blah, blah, blah. It's not too bad under the seats. Oh, that one is a lot worse. I don't know what that is. It is sticky as anything. Um, so didn't really find anything interesting worth keeping. All I did find was two pound five and a nice brown horrible cigarette. So I will, I might do a little time lapse. We'll quickly hoover this out give the seats a scrub. I do want to re-dye them at some point. I'll show you what I'm on about. Yeah, we'll give it a quick hoover, quick little time lapse, and then we'll move on to washing it once we've got the interior back together. But yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was, so that's a good sign, good sign. Three hours later, and here we are. So yeah, took the seats out. I hoovered it out. There was quite a few coffee stains, both sides of the center console. So I hand scrubbed them, let them dry out, made sure they've gone hoovered it again 
I then went round with a bottle of disinfectant and I disinfected every single surface because it's been sat since 2015, but no mould. So obviously it seals up nice, all the door seals, boot seals are all good. So yeah, just to just show how clean, this is just drops of water from cleaning it up, they'll dry out, but yeah, this is now mint. Absolutely mint. But yeah, I need to get the seats back in. I want to re-dye them because they've been scratched to make them look a bit better. But uh, yeah, just a little teaser of what's going on on the outside. I've got to deal with that. So yeah, seats back in, mats back in, and then clean the interior down with a proper dashboard cleaner. And then that's the inside done. We get onto the outside. So before I start washing it, I realised I forgot I haven't hoovered out the boot. So I've opened the boot and I've got a nasty surprise. Um, I found it a while ago, so I've already sat down, panicked, stressed, thought about how to fix it. And now I've calmed down a bit. It's not too much of a major problem. It's just another job on the list, medium sized job. I'll show you what I found. Right, so I've opened the boot. A few bits in it, spare wheel, blah, blah, blah. Now, I did check this for moisture when I bought the car, but I missed this because there was other stuff hiding it. So we take this out. We take this out. Can you see the problem? Look at this. It's all folded in. This is the spare wheel well, which is not flat. You can't really see it on the video, but basically it has all been shunted up and forward. I mean, look at the creases. That should be a straight wall down. So straight away, panicked. So straight away, I panicked and thought, fuck, it's been in a rear end collision. Like, jumped underneath, looked at everything underneath the rear bar, everything straight, nothing looks like it's been repaired looks 30 years old as it should then i remembered when i was speaking with the owner he said when this when i bought the car we were talking about these big old exhaust pipes and he said he lifted the car up on a forklift to have a look at them and how beefy they were so if i go underneath now and bearing in mind forklift i'll show you what is, what's happened basically so i don't know if you can see well you can see this is the rear the well and where it's dented in there Basically, he's gone in with a forklift, put both the forks together, straight forward, and lifted it by the rear wheel well. So the damage underneath doesn't look too bad, but obviously that is extremely dented in. Um, it, the video doesn't do it justice. But yeah, as I checked, I've checked all the rear bar, everything like that. It's all how it should be. It's not been rear-ended. He has definitely lifted it with a forklift, which is a bit of a shitter. But um, we'll go back to the inside and we'll have another look. So basically my plan will be, is probably cut maybe the ring here, out, straighten all that lip down, straighten the edge of the ring out, obviously flatten it all back down and then sort of weld it back in. Then everything is OEM and there's not patches of different metals in there because it is, Needs a bit of a wash and a scrub, but yeah, it's dry, it's clean, there's no moisture back here. I haven't even checked the old. No, missing most of its toolkit. And no first aid kit either. As I said, to me, it's not a, a give up on the project sort of thing. It's just an, another awkward job that needs to be done. But this car would have needed to go to my unit at some point anyway for some of the major work that I'm going to do to it. So I've got all the stuff up there. We'll sort it all out up there. But right, so... I'll finish off hoovering the boot and then we'll get to washing this thing and try and end this video with a nice clean base project to start with. Jeez, she is looking loads better. I know, still got a flat tyre. Damn, boy. So I actually thought this was white. It turns out it's some sort of like pearl champagne-y colour, which I am starting to like. 
It's just a shame about the rust on the arch. A few paint chips here and there. Dang, she looks good. I'm liking it more and more. So at least now she's clean inside and out, I can start doing what, whatever I want to start doing next. So that'll be it for this video. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe, to see the rest of the build and what I do with it. Whether I keep it, whether I sell it, whether I change bits, what I do to it. But yeah, be on TikTok as well, Jack Mad Dan on there as well. But yeah, that's the end of this episode. Sound.